So this is the first time Cruz has ever been in snow since he was just a little puppy and I picked him up. So I found a nice little spot over here. Oh, he's so excited. All right, buddy, go play. What is this stuff, buddy? Go. What is this stuff, bro? <laughs> ah, this is an exciting moment. This tree here looks like it's got Christmas bulbs on it. Look at it. This looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's awesome. snow time <laughs> that was super fun for me I'm sure Cruz had a blast too but <sighs> always love first moments like that because you'll never have them again those moments you have to embrace the second they happen just like you guys getting into van life and then leaving your old life behind like the last time you pay rent embrace all of that stuff but that was so fun today um, I bought Cruz in the snow. I bought him in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and it was snowing out when I got him, but he was so little and we weren't in the snow very long. He hated it. Today, total blast for him. Um, this highway here, highway number 17, this has to be my favorite drive so far on this entire cross Canada trip. I took this highway when I was going in and I'm taking, all right. And I'm taking the same highway back out and it is sure beautiful to see it within a couple of different seasons. Came through here at tail end of summer and now I'm going through here at the beginning of winter and it is so beautiful. The reason why I like this drive, this is Highway 17 from Sault Ste. Marie. I'm just about in Wawa, Ontario, but I don't know how far this goes, but I think it was from Thunder Bay to Sault Ste. Marie. In that section of Highway 17, the ultimate place to van life in Ontario so far. Oh, just every little nook and cranny, side street, side of the lake. It's Lake Superior over here and there's so many spots beside the lake to just drive down a gravel road and park right by the lake. Beautiful. All right, we're going that way, that way. So let's go that way. I don't think we're gonna be staying at this hotel. It's a 
kitchen over there. All right, let's see if the phone booth works. Always that question. Oh my gosh, it works too. I wish you guys could hear that. I don't know where the microphone is on my thing. It works, it's got a dial tone. That's funny. Cruzy, we're at a creepy old empty. I'm a little creeped out. Big double floored hotel, completely empty. Look at the spot, ready? Watch this view. Um, yes please. But as you can hear, there's not a lot of traffic out here. When I was coming through here at the beginning of the trip, there was a lot more summer traffic. But if these guys are sitting underneath six months of winter, how are businesses like this supposed to survive if they're not busy enough in the summer to keep them floating through a shutdown winter time? Because I'm pretty sure they get rocked with snow out here. This is the third hotel like this I've seen on this section so far, and then multiple gas stations as well. It looks like they literally just shut down. These rooms all have everything inside of it. You can see inside of there, still got all the pillows, the blankets, the TVs, air conditioning units. Look at it. Everything is still intact in all of these rooms. Wow. It's crazy to be walking by stuff like this. I love this stuff. It's kind of sad to see businesses like this closed down. And you know, untouched. What happened to this place? Where did it go? It has such a beautiful view over there. Come on, look at that. Wow. I don't know why this stuff intrigues me in a huge way. All right, <laughs> let's get back on the road. Can you pronounce that Manitowaji? Manitowaj. Manitowaj. Playing the extreme. It's a pretty big ski do. Or a sled or whatever they would call it. Yeehaw! Ugh. People are driving by going, there's this grown man sitting on this thing. Yeah. All right. I don't know where we are. We're in the middle of. Told me don't fall from here. Whoa, it's slippery. That's not where we are because it says that is that way, but that's where we're close to. I'm taking it. This place, taking this place is quite the outdoor adventure place. Over there, there's a sign that says ATV Jamboree in July. That's pretty cool. Some old machines over here. Don't know what this stuff is or what industry this is from. It's on a rail car. Maybe that's like a mining industry. I don't know, you guys are pretty knowledgeable on my channel. Do you guys know? <laughs> We're losing sunshine. Another day of just drive, drive, drive. I know we're probably five hours into driving today four hours something like that and I'm not sure where we're going I know we're about four and a half hours from Thunder Bay Ontario which is that way I don't know <laughs> we're just roaming around these are uh, some pretty pretty big tires here <laughs> I can't reach it yep those are big Woo. Yeah, what do you think? Place to call home tonight? I think it looks great. Woo! What a view. There's a train bridge over there. The bridge we're gonna cross in the morning when we leave is there. 
Not a bad little spot, and there's no signs here anywhere. Traveling in the winter time or the off season, so any time when the kids are back in school, it's so easy to find places to park. Things aren't busy. The highway's there, but for the minimal amount of traffic that we've seen on this highway today, I'm guessing that's gonna be a pretty silent highway after after the sun goes down, maybe around when the sun goes down pretty soon, but I'm gonna guess around eight o'clock it's gonna be pretty silent here. <laughs> Van life guys, it never ever gets old. Are you ready? That's my house. <laughs> Ow!